So, this is where it gets a little tricky. This is, you've already seen this, stage A, B, and C. This is one nested vortice circuit. Okay, I'll circle this. Oh, I can't write. One. Okay, one nested vortice circuit. Alright, so, with that being one nested vortice circuit, you actually have stage A, a stage B, and a stage C. Okay. If you would repeat that stage, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, that's what you get. Now, A is actually two coils energized, B is actually the gap space, nothing's energized, and C is the same two coils energized, opposite polarities. Okay? Or reverse current. Um, when you look at this on your own, I think you'll be able to figure that out. Please read the document. I spent a lot of time just describing things. If you don't read the document, I don't think it's going to work out well. Okay, so, basically, with all that being said, if you take nested vortices circuit 1, 2, and 3, which this is just one here on top, if you put them all together, it looks like this. A, B, C. A, B, C, A, B, C on the first row. Okay? That's first nested vortice circuit. Then the second row is second nested vortice circuit. And the third row is the third nested vortice circuit. Now you can see they start at different times. This one starts here. This one starts here. This one starts here. And then they continue to oscillate. Okay? That is your 120 degrees out of phase. Same thing I just showed you here. It's the same exact thing. Okay. So it's the same thing here. Three nested vortice circuits, 120 degrees out of phase because they're all off. And then when you get back, you're at the same nested vortice circuit. So that's what I've done. A, B, C. So when A starts, if you'd roll it over, we'll just start in the middle. Let's just start right here. So if A, if A starts on nested vortice circuit one. Then C is on nested border circuit C2, and B is on nested border C circuit 3. And they roll up. B goes to the top, A goes shifts down, C shifts down. Okay, that's this stage. And the next stage, C goes to the top, B goes over, and A goes over. Okay, and that's the three stages. Then it starts all over again. That's why everything is, is shifted, or 120 degrees out of phase. Okay. This is how the wires are laid out. You have L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, and L6. You have six wires. Okay. Brown here is one wire. The orange is one wire. The blue, the green, the yellow, and the gray. Now, the wire actually comes in, rolls over, and comes back out continuously. That's the way it works. Oh. Okay, so that's the way that works. That's how your wire is actually wrapped. You can see how it's wrapped here. Here's the top view. Um, orange, gap space, blue. That's that's one nested vortice circuit. Okay, so everything here. Okay, that's one nested vortice circuit. The brown and the gray. That's one nested vortice circuit. The yellow and the green. That's one nested vortice circuit. Okay, that's how the wires are actually laid out on the torus. If nobody's ever really showed you that, that's how that works. Okay. So, we'll move on. Um, everything is separated by 120. Uh, this document shows that very well. You just have to read through it. Um, and you have six wires on this tour. So this is a 9x9. Nine nine. Now we're going to talk about 36x18. Okay, it's the same thing, except more tiles. You have 36x18 instead of 9x9. Nine nine. Okay. Same stage as A, B, and C. Works the same. Uh, your nested vortice circuits double because you have uh, more tiles now because you've doubled your number around the outside and the other way. Um, the reds here, red and red, red and red. Um, they're both red, but they're two different shades. I hope you're not colorblind or you'll be in trouble. So the two different shades, and the reason for that is this wire comes in here. So it comes in. And then underneath there you can't see it and it comes back out. And then underneath there you can't see it and it comes back out. That's one wire. Then you got the green. 
comes in here, back out, in here. That's two. In here, back out, and here. That's three. And then we're at the red. In here, back out, in here. Now that's four. And you got the dark green. In here, back out, in here. That's five. And the blue. In here, back out, in here. Okay? So as you can see, I made it all the way around my map. Well, that's because there's two sides to this instead of just one. See, up here, on this, you can see it actually only goes around one time. In, back out. In, back out. See how the blue never shows up twice, only once? That's because of where it was in. And back out. One loop. This, however, is two loops around the torus. It's just the way it works. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six nested vortices circuits instead of just uh, three. Okay, here I have white highlighted. This blue and this blue is one wire. This blue and this blue is another wire. Two different wires, but with the math, they activate at the same time, identically. This nested vortice, all the way around there on two separate wires, get act gets activated at the same time. So that being said, you actually only have the same three stages. Light blue, light red, light green. At the same time light blue is going, uh, dark blue is going, light blue is going. At the same time light red is going, dark red is going. Same thing with the green, light green and dark green, same time. Uh, you can actually look at that with the um, spires. Okay, so you have wire here and here on the light red, here and here on the light green, here and here on the light blue, here and here on the dark red, here and here on the dark green, and here and here on the light, uh, the dark blue. Okay, and then the same thing repeats because this is the same wire. So you have it wrapped around twice, you have 12 wires instead of just 6. Okay, so we activate that um, like this. You have two wires on this light red, so it's L1 and L2. Two wires on light green, uh, which is L3 and L4, and, and all the way around the torus, so you have uh, 12 L's. So, if the light red and the dark red activate at the same time, this would be L1, and this would be L7. Okay, so L1, if you were to look at it, is here, and then L7. Okay, and then you just tie these two together. That would be the same thing. There's your ground, there's your positive voltage, okay? So that's how you'd hook them up instead of just one coil. 9x9 just has one coil. On each nested vortice circuit, you have two wires, but that's one activation sequence, if you will. That's A on that stage, on that wire, you have L1 and L2. Right here, you have um, L1 and L7. L2 and L8, both on at the same time. A, then B gas space, then C. That's your stages. Stages A, B, and C, which is your L1 and L2 on different polarities. Gap space, L7 and L8 uh, are tied to L1 and L2 uh, when they activate. And then C, which is L2 and L8, L1 and L7, but they reverse polarities from stage A. We have the same thing here. We have A, B, and C, A, B, and C, A, B, and C, that's your stages. So that's just the top one here, that's one. Then the second row is two, and the third row is three. These are different wires on different nested vortices circuits, but you have two of them activating at the same time instead of, I should say you have four of them activating at the same time instead of two wires, but you have two different nested vortices circuits on at the same time doing the same thing because of how the math works out.